Take one. <laughs> Greetings, beautiful people. It is Wednesday, the 4th of October, and I'm just posting a video for you guys. So um, as you know, we are at the midterm, the middle of the semester, and we have our first test, our first big test coming up. You can earn up to 100 points by completing this test. There'll be 50 multiple choice questions. Each question is worth two points for a total of 100 points. Now this test is proctored via Analog, which should be no surprise to you because there was a note when you signed up for the class saying that this class was proc that the tests in this class were proctored via Analog. Also is in the syllabus too. So Analog is a Google Chrome extension. You need to have a camera and a microphone and you need to um, have a valid ID. Now, if you don't want to take the test using um, Otterloft, you can schedule an appointment with the testing center and take the test at the testing center. But um, if you want to do that, I suggest calling right away because their appointments go really fast. And, um, you know, they change some things around. And now usually you can't really just get a walk in at that testing center anymore. So anyway, if you decide to take it via Honorlock, I've given you an Honorlock practice quiz so you can check it out and make sure everything is kosher, um, you know, before you take the actual test. But there is a $5 fee when you get ready to take the exam. The $5 per exam fee is issued via Honorlock, or you can pay a one-time fee of $10, and that covers the entire semester, so unlimited tests. The reason why I think you might consider the $10 instead of the $5 per is because I offer a makeup test at the end. And sometimes students don't score as high as they would have liked the first time they take the test. And so when you take this makeup, I sub in that score if it's higher than the first one. Okay, so we have a midterm and a final. You're taking the midterm this week and then the final is at the end of the term. But if you don't score what you want on this midterm, you can take the makeup and that'll sub in for this test one. Now you might be thinking, what chapters are on this test? If you watch the other videos, then you know. Um, if you've been paying along on and participating in the discussions, then there's no no new surprises. But you're going to have chapters one, two, three, six, and seven. So these topics are what is psychology and the science of psychology. So all about those modern approaches, the history of psychology, and then research methods. How psychologists ask and answer questions. You're going to have a series of questions about that. You're also going to have questions about the biological foundations of behavior. So you need to know the, the, the parts of a neuron. You need to know about neurotransmitters and different parts of the brain. Okay, that is going to be chapter two. The third chapter is human growth and development with or developmental psych. And these will be questions about prenatal development, early childhood, late adulthood, Erickson's theory, things like that. Okay. The other chapters are learning theory, which is chapter six, and chapter seven, which is memory. I will tell you that there'll be fewer questions about memory than there are about learning, development, the science of psych, and bio foundations, because we spent most of our time talking about those first five chapters, and the sixth chapter we haven't had a lot of discussion on, so there'll be less questions from chapter seven on memory. Don't worry, we will talk about memory and we will revisit um, some information about memory for the remainder of the semester. But for now, be prepared by making a cheat sheet. That's right, I said it, a cheat sheet. An entire eight and a half by 11 sheet. It could be handwritten or it could be typed and it can be two-sided or two single, um, like one page, you know? So either one page two-sided or two single-sided pages. And when you make this cheat sheet, you're gonna put information and you're gonna make sure that you have you're understanding the concepts in a way that you can apply your knowledge if you were given a scenario or synthesize your information across multiple chapters, all right? Some of these questions are challenging and some of them are straightforward. I've given you a Kahoot so you can practice and play with the questions. You can also use the textbook, which has a chapter summary as well as a chapter review. The chapter review has questions that are very similar to what you'll see on the midterm, and the chapter summary highlights the key points or the main big ideas that you need to know from reading each of the five chapters that will be on our test. Okay, so that's 50 questions. They're all multiple choice, worth two points each for a total of 100 points, and the test is proctored via Analog. The cheat sheet will help you to succeed because when you make it and you're studying, 
you're organizing the information, and then when you actually take the test, if you have a little bit of test anxiety, you can look on that cheat sheet. Now, even though the test is proctored via Unilock, I leave a note so that they know you can use this cheat sheet when you're taking the test. Okay? Now, um, the only other thing that's going on this week is that you will have a, a reflection assignment. This reflection assignment will be worth 15 points, and there'll be some guided questions. And it's a chance to consolidate your learning and to write, to organize and write and think about what you've learned, what you've liked, what you've disliked, what you wish we could study more of. And you're going to give me some info. You're going to let me hear your thoughts. You're going to write them out. Okay. And that's going to be 15 points. Um, this will be available in Canvas. And so that assignment is, like I said, worth 15 points. Um, Next week, you're going to have a group check-in too, and that'll be worth five points. So that's coming up on the horizon. But in the meantime, you do want to always know that that group project is going on in the background. All right, the great book has been updated. I'm slowly but surely getting on track. So take a look in the great book to see what you got so far. Um, keep in mind, we have a total of 600 points. So even though we're at the midpoint, there's still plenty of opportunity to boost your score if you're aiming for an A. Um, if you have questions, comments, compliments, or concerns, go ahead and leave it in the comment section or leave it on Canvas. We have a questions thread in Canvas that says, are you confused? Do you need help? You can post a question there and I'll reply to you. I check that questions thread Monday through Thursday, one to two times per day. Now, if you post it and it's the weekend, I may or may not see it until Monday. But I do have, like I said, a soft spot in my heart for students. And usually on test weekend, I check the question thread at least once over the weekend. So in case someone's fumbling and they need some help, um, I don't want you to be left hanging. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of the main points. Uh, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know that you're watching it, that you enjoy them or you appreciate them, even if you think they're boring, that but they're helpful. Let me know that. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I'm supposed to be saying. It's late, I'm tired, and have a good rest of the evening.